this is an energetic experience buckle up stay tuned come with me we're going on an energetic journey because the only way to truly get what i'm about to share with you is to feel it to experience it at the energetic level your brain's going to take you so far and then it's going to start fritzing and melting along the way and you're going to come up with a lot of linear questions in an attempt to answer a multi-dimensional equation which it can't linearity can only take you so far and that's great, but there's going to come a point where you're going to have to hitchhike a new ride beyond linearity into the level of energetic connection, energetic experience. So if that sounds exciting to you, stay with me. We're about to unfold something pretty magical. Now, a couple months back, it was five months ago, I think, I recorded a video called Unplugging from the Time Matrix. I will link that video for you. I just watched it. It is so worth watching but as you listen to that first video you're going to be listening to the baby steps that are bringing you to where we're going now and where we're going now is timelessness we're going outside of time but that doesn't mean what the linear brain says it does the linear brain says well if i'm going out of time if i'm stepping outside of time it means i'm going to throw away my watch it means there won't be a day and night it means there's just going to be stagnancy or stillness no that's not what it means at all the time matrix to step outside of time is to step outside of the false matrix because those two words the time matrix and the false matrix mean the same thing the false matrix was set up around a template of time so time governed and enslaved those who participated in the false matrix now you've heard me talk about the false matrix a lot i've got a playlist on my channel called the false matrix and it's well worth watching if you want to explore that a little bit deeper it is such a fascinating thing because it details where you were born how you were born as in who you were born to be you were born to be an order taker. You were born not to think for yourself, but to receive instruction and carry it out. You were born to create unconsciously, which was to feed you a certain set of circumstances, energetic stimuli, very emotion, strong emotional charges, so that you would respond in a certain way. So all of this was coordinated to get you to respond either with outrage, all these very loud emotions, right, depression, is a loud emotion outrage is a very loud emotion anxiety and panic Woo, baby those are loud emotions and they're very creative <laughs> they're very very creative they create pandemonium they create chaos they create confusion they create blurred vision as in i can't see what i'm doing who i am they create more unconsciousness the time matrix was one wherein you were enslaved by and answerable to the grand master called time. Didn't appear that way, I know. At the very linear logical level, you're going to say to me, no, I never bowed to time. But we all did. There was a finiteness. Now, you've heard about the saying or this expression, right, called a timeline people talk about oh I've shifted my timeline or we're on a new timeline or we've sped up our timeline what is a timeline a timeline is a stream of reality you could shift timelines within the false matrix there were numerous different realities and you could springboard from one to the next to the next it was quite fun really you could experience yourself if you were very conscious and operating at a heightened level of consciousness you could skip timeline to timeline kind of like jumping train to train very thrilling very exciting thing but each train that you jumped onto was a new experience of you but each experience of you was finite each experience of the reality or timeline that you were experiencing yourself in had parameters to it, had definitions that you couldn't transcend. You could only move to another timeline. So there was always parameters. In other words, limitations. Every single reality, from the highest to the lowest, had some kind of Defin definitive outcomes within it almost as if it was pre-encoded into it and I shared this very recently with my galactic ground crew they're a 
portion of my online community, which by the way, you're welcome to join if you feel called to elevate your growth and go deeply into what I'm talking about here, but at the experiential level. This is where we go beyond what the brain can do and deeply into what the body can process, deeply into the experience of consciousness. So if you're called, go check it out. It's on my website, kerryk.net, or I will leave it in the description box below. Nonetheless, recently I was talking to the Galactic Ground Crew about these amazing experiences that we've had with the ego and the various ways in which I've explained to them what the ego is. And I said to them, you know, I've used lots of words. In fact, somebody pointed out, uh, I think, uh, shadow self. Shadow self was one of the ways in which I described the ego, the false self was another way in which I described the ego. And I said to them, that's all true. But do you know what? There's a way to describe the ego that's more true that I don't often use because of the way people will interpret these words. But I'm going to share it with you because I think that you're grown up enough. I think you're mature enough. And for those of you who are going to hear the words that I'm going to use and let it send you into a tailspin, try, try your damnedest to find that centeredness within you and that emotional maturity within you that can go, okay, I can look at this and not be defined by it and know that I'm here to transcend it. So hear the words, the slave self really what the ego is. Those are the most descriptive words, accurately descriptive words of what the ego is. The ego was enslaved to stay in a certain timeline, a certain trajectory. Now, we did have free will within those timelines. So in other words, you could hop, skip and jump to a timeline where there was more abundance, to a timeline where there was more love, to a timeline where there was less of this and more of the next thing, which is why a lot of people, by the way, and I wonder if you noticed this, a lot of people would say to me, you know, I don't know what's going on. The moment I get a new job or a breakthrough in my career, my love life falls apart. The moment I get finance, then I lose something else somewhere else. Some relationship goes wonky. So it's almost as if I can't have everything all together at once. What's going on? Why is that? Those are parameters within a given timeline. So as much as we could hop, skip and jump various timelines, and this is where in we said, oh, wow, look at me. I'm a creator. I've got free will. We didn't realize, though, that what we were doing was swapping out templates. OK, I'm going to take this template because it appears to be a higher version of me, but... There's always sacrifice. There's always, well, I can have this, but give up that. Why? Because enslavement was the order of the day. Because everything in the false matrix was set up to feed the false matrix. And those who feed the false matrix become depleted. Those who fuel the false matrix don't have fuel for themselves. They're not free. They're not free to create the life that they want because they're so busy being harnessed and ensnared and entrapped and coerced into creating for the false matrix. The individual begins to count for very little in the false matrix because the false matrix has an agenda that is see the bigger picture, see the false matrix, feed the false matrix. You, the individual, you don't matter, which is such skew thinking because imagine if it was the other way around as it is in the natural living universe, God's creation template has it interwoven into all creation that at the fundamental level the most important part of creation is the individual and sacrifice can never create something whole sacrifice can only create something disjointed or broken because when the foundation is I'm going to sacrifice myself for the greater good for example or for you another person anything given in self-sacrifice begets self-sacrifice it's interwoven into the fabric of the creation you're playing with. So the false matrix was one in which we were so blindly ensnared and enslaved and answerable to what I'm going to sum up as time. You could also use interchangeable words here. For those of you who are familiar with the archons, you could say, well, the false matrix was absolutely controlled by the archons. That would be absolutely true. But what did they use? They used time. Time became the god of that reality, not the G-U-A-R-D, the G-O-D of that reality, right? Time was the thief. 
time was the energy of sucking and taking away. In the true matrix, guess what happens? As you age, you evolve, you expand, you grow, you become more, more energized, not less. Look at what happens in the false matrix. As you age, you become very, very tired because you're giving and you're depleting or you're running out of resources. But in the true matrix, the exact opposite happens. So you youth instead of age. The longer you live, the more energized you become. And it's not to say that you're born tired because there isn't depletion. It's not interwoven into the fabric of the, false, of the true matrix, but rather it's the very tenant of the false matrix. False matrix needs people to be tired and dumbed down and stressed and strained and always answerable to the pillars of the time matrix. And those are the systems of the false matrix, for example, banking system, schooling systems, political systems, you know, the enslavement system, work, bonds, mortgages, whatever it might be, all of that stuff, all of those systems are part of that entrapment and that enslavement and that which you were once answerable to. So then you're going to say, how do I break out of this joint? How do I, how do I get out of this jail? Because that's exactly what it sounds like. There's a course on my website, uh, which is called Activate Your Wings. And in that course, we go deeply into the prison. This idea that we're living in a prison reality and how to break out of it, which is really an inner break through where in the true self emerges. That's how you break out. It's not with a hammer and a chisel. It's not with resistance. It's not with picketing. It's not with demanding your rights. It's not with take down the archons, take down time. <laughs> Imagine that. It's, it's never going to be by pushing against. It is going to be by rising into the true light that you are from within you. Let me share with you something very beautiful. It's an exercise, it's a tool and it's a practice that you can use right now as you listen to this. And it's going to shift you if you'll allow yourself to listen beyond the words and into the experience of what I'm describing to you. It's brief, but it's very transcendent and very impactful. I want you to imagine that you're standing still. Because in the time matrix, you were taught not to stand still. In the time matrix, you were taught run, 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 be productive, be productive, move, 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 do, 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 give, 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 strategize, plan. You know, that was insanity. In the time matrix, things like relaxation, that was seen as a waste of time or a luxury that you couldn't afford. As you step into stillness, so imagine yourself harnessing all of your awareness into one still moment wherein you find yourself doing this exact thing, standing still. Beautiful Carlos, Galactic Ground Crew member. I know he's smiling right now as I'm calling his name. This is one of my members in the online community. He's the one that spurred this beautiful teaching about standing still. Thank you, Carlos. Members of my online community are some of the wisest people you will ever meet. I'm very proud of you all. As you stand still, I want you to imagine and or feel. So you don't have to visualize. If you're not visual, leave the visuals, right? This is more something that you want to feel. As you stand still, imagine or feel that everything around you, which is busy and frenetic, that's the world around you, is catching up to you but you're standing still and it's running towards you time is catching up to you time is running to you instead of you running towards time and you chasing time time is coming to you and you at a stationary still point the zero point zone again those of you in my online community you know exactly what the zero point zone is it's in the members area click on the zero point zone button and you're going to have yourself a beautiful little experience for everybody else zero point zone is a state of being it's a supreme powerful presence it's a stillness and as you come into this place and everything rushes to meet you and catch up with you you're beginning to turn the tables on time you're beginning to turn the tables on the false matrix you're no longer enslaved 
you're consciously redirecting yourself, not the matrix, yourself. And when you consciously redirect yourself, everything reorganizes itself around you. And now you're not bound. You're not constricted or restricted to rules because within the time matrix, there are rules, limitations, non-negotiables. Now, in the true matrix or the organic matrix, whichever words you prefer, some people call that place new earth, true earth. There's so many different terminologies to really make it simple. False matrix, true matrix. As you step into the true matrix, which only the divine self or the true self, by the way, can navigate. As you step into that place. There is a natural order. There is a natural harmony. We call this universal law, but it is a resonant harmonic that is encoded into your body. The false matrix, those rules, so to speak, operate against your nature. Your nature is love, patience, kindness, tolerance. Your nature is creativity. Look at how that was bred out of humanity many, many years of schooling for the vast majority of the planet. Many, many years of schooling take people into a very left brain orientated state of thinking. And then they isolate creativity into the right brain and they keep those two hemispheres totally separate, never meeting and merging. When in reality, you are a whole brained thinker. That is who you are. You have two hemispheres that exist as a unit. We're just not taught to think in union, in unison with those two hemispheres. So in the false matrix, everything is in a state of divisiveness and separation. Restriction, limitation, governed over, presided over, dominance over. In the true matrix, there is only sovereignty. In other words, every being of consciousness is that. A being of consciousness. Worthy of love, worthy of respect, both giving and receiving it. The laws of the universe are very simple. Do not impede the freedom of others. Cause no harm to yourself or others. These are the most obvious, most basic laws, but they're fundamentals of harmony. So as you step out of time into what we would call timelessness, but it's actually pure potentiality. It's an unrestrictedness wherein you're not operating inside of a governed timeline or a preordained set of rules and circumstances. You are now working in operating in a free flow with the universe. And that means all potential is instant and now and you're now operating in the place of miracles when you can bring yourself, even just with my words, conceptually into that place called timelessness. The ego was designed to be a slave. The ego was designed to be answerable even to a timeline within the false matrix. In the true matrix, the true self is not bound the true self exists in limitlessness, also called freedom, also called potentiality, pure potential, unbridled creativity. And from that place, you are free. From that place, the restrictions of the false matrix can, and this is something I want to talk to you about, can and will try to reach out and grab you. And it's going to want to ensnare you and say, hey, you're not supposed to be out of jail. Come back. Almost like a prison guard bringing back its prisoner who's trying to escape. Except when you are rooted into your right to be you. Which is why I always tell people, feel what you feel. Don't apologize for where you are. Allow yourself to learn the fine art of connecting with what is authentic. Because that's the practice you need. As difficult as that warrior's journey is, that's the practice that you need to bring you into that personal power where you start trusting yourself and letting yourself be self-led 
But what's leading you is the highest truth of you, the truest self. The true self that is here to navigate the true matrix. Now, this part of you is coming online, but for everyone, it's going to come online in phases and stages. So you're going to have time anomalies up the wazoo. You're going to say to me, I feel like time is flying. Then give it a day. Hell, give it an hour. Give it a month. Doesn't matter. You're going to say time is just it's like it's it's dilated. It's still it's kind of like I can see it's moving, but it's not moving. Is it me? Am I stagnant? What's wrong? Try not to let the linear brain answer for your multidimensional wisdom and intelligence. Because the linearity of the brain can't keep up with the multidimensional wisdom that you are. <laughs> right? So have you already experienced those time anomalies? I'm pretty sure you have. Time speeds up, time slows down. Time goes wonky. It's Tuesday today. No, it's Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. Ah, what time is it? Where am I? Those strange feelings where 10 seconds can feel very long but then 10 minutes can feel like one second we're having all of these experiences as we phase in and out of time this is going to be now again remember i spoke about that video in the very beginning that video where i was talking for the first time about breaking free from the time matrix or the false matrix that was five six months ago those were baby steps that was the introduction to hey guys this is what we're about to do together now, as we head into this current time ahead of us, in front of us, we're taking a level deeper, a step further. And guess what's going to happen from here? Of course, we're going to go deeper and further still. And then we're going to look at where we are now and what I'm describing to you now as the next level of baby steps. Wow, look at how sweet. Look at those little baby steps. But we're going to go beyond even this place, right? Now, let me look at my notes. What have I forgotten? Oh, baby, baby, baby. I forgot some important things. In the false matrix, there were signals. Frequencies. That you were programmed as the ego or the slave self to be answerable to. Those frequencies, those signals were totally interwoven into time, right? Those signals were bandwidths or frequencies to keep you thinking in a certain dull way, to keep you in a mindlessness and a distraction and a resistance. Because whenever you're in resistance to something, it takes all your energy, takes all your resources, you become drained, which is where the false matrix wanted you. It never wanted you to be vital, never wanted you to be energized, right? As you step out of time, an amazing thing occurs, and that is all of those rogue signals can no longer impact you or have reach or have effect on you. They begin to just drip off of you and melt off of you. Now, there is much more to the story. There is much, much more, uh, and I, I feel like I need to do it in another video. Otherwise, I'm going to tax you a little bit too much in this one, and I don't want to. I don't want to let this information as thrilling and enthralling as it might be. I don't want to let it become draining to you. There's a lot already to take in. You could already watch this video two or three times and pick up more information that you skipped out on the first time. By the way, guys, if I talk too fast for any of you, please don't ask me to slow down. I literally can't do that. As the flow of energy comes in, I go with that flow. What you can do is use YouTube's amazing technology. There's a little gear icon on your screen. Hover your mouse around, hit the gear icon, and you can change me into a chipmunk that speaks very, very fast. And you can change me into a carry that speaks very, very slow. So you can alter my speed on you YouTube's technology so you know just letting you know because a couple of you ask me in the comment section Carrie please slow down no I can't do it there is so much more to the story like I said I think I'm going to do it in a second video but I want to leave a final beautiful piece to this puzzle with you and that is as you step into the true matrix where do you go nowhere right look at look at where my body moved to 
nowhere except my arms flapping while I'm talking. My body remained here. Your body, wherever it started out listening to this video, chances are it's in approximately the same place unless you're in a car driving. But you know what I'm saying? You don't move. When you shift into the true matrix, you stay where you are. Because the true self emerges. And then what happens is you have brought the true matrix here. You have brought timelessness here. You have brought God's potential here. Pure creation here. And that begins to dissolve and that begins to melt the remnants of the false matrix. Now this, this catalyzes us. This gives us a quantum boost, a quantum jump into untold possibilities. And I share this with you because there's a lot of people in the world right now that are looking at the planet and saying, we're doomed. Humanity's never going to make it. No, no, no. Guys, for those of you who are in my online community, go listen to video number 34 in the Plasma Live Call Library. Video number 34 is where we had a being from one of the planets, I can't remember, was it Alpha Centauri, something like that, uh, who had recently ascended. They had moved into higher consciousness and they shared with us such a beautiful story about how their species of beings were all fighting against each other and suddenly they all came together. What causes that? What causes humanity to be so divided but then suddenly they're catalyzed into, oh, a unity consciousness or, oh, I can see through all the lies. What causes that? People like you and me stepping out of time into timelessness, melting away the remnants of the false matrix even quicker, exposing a quantum ripple and allowing that quantum ripple to send its vibratory frequency through the masses, through the collective. And what that does is it shifts the collective into a potential that right now we cannot possibly imagine. I love journeying with you. Thank you for listening to me. There's so much more. Make sure you've liked this video. It really helps me if you would just do that one thing. Don't just like it in your heart. Like it by clicking the actual little button from my heart to yours. Go watch that first video, the unplugging from the time matrix. I think you're really going to enjoy that. Lots of love everyone. Bye bye for now.